straight on with the action. Just having a couple of tweets saying the uh, stream struggling to work, it's all got an RN so keep trying and get back on with us. I know you can't hear this if you're not listening to the stream but I've got to say it. Is there a doctor in the house? And to make his ring walk now to the red corner. Tonight, boxing in his home city of Manchester. Introducing Artif Daniel. Boxing fans ringside at the Victoria Warehouse here in Manchester this evening for our night of championship boxing brought to you by VIP Promotions in association with Tyco, VIP TV and Fight Life. Time now for our next bout of the evening. This a super middleweight contest. This one scheduled for four three-minute rounds of boxing. Timekeeper ringside is Gary Grennan from Burnley. On the sound of the bell, our scoring referee is Phil Edwards from Preston. Firstly, boxing out of the blue corner. His weight for the contest, 11 stone, 9 pounds, 2 ounces. Tonight, he makes visit number 74 in the ring as a professional boxer. He's wearing these solid blue shorts and boxes out of Bogner Regis. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Liam Booker. And across the ring, boxing out of the red corner this evening, 11 stone, 7 pounds, 4 ounces is official weight for this contest. Five visits to the ring as a professional boxer, three victories with two defeats on his record. He's wearing these solid orange shorts and tonight boxes in his home city of Manchester, England. It is our two. Dr. Hitman Daniel! <laughs> Referee Phil Edwards will now issue his final instructions. Surgery is in session. Contest, scheduled for four three-minute rounds. Is there a doctor in the house? Doctor Artif Daniel. He's in with Liam Griffiths. Artif's third appearance in three months. Certainly been active recently. I think he showed the benefits of that last time out. He beat uh, Paul O'Brien. Best performance of Artif's career. He's pretty good. Pretty good last time out. He'll be looking to build on that. Yeah, I think it's um, away from boxing. Nobody likes seeing the doctor, but certainly in uh, in boxing, if we get an opportunity to see Doctor Artif Daniel, it's uh, it's great to do. Halfway through the card here in Manchester, here at Victoria Warehouse. Still to come, we've got Danny Wright fighting aggressive Ross Jameson, that'll be one to watch. We've got the Apache, Anthony Kakacha fighting Lionel Hernandez. Jake Haig will fight Mark Till. 
Luke Evans takes on Fons Alexander, Ben Sheedy, Davidis Suhuka, and then Matty Askin, Tommy McCarthy topping the bill later on. In ring at the moment though, we've got the doctor looking to put a clinic on Liam Griffiths. From being in the corner, Simon, what do you think of that performance? Um, like I said, I, I know, obviously this time yesterday, John Telford didn't want to go through with the fight. He's uh, he'd gone all over the place mentally. He's, there was about three opponents being mentioned. He'd obviously, he'd weighed in and then he'd gone for something to eat. So I think I, I think he's just got to take the positive out, which is, is, is the W. It was, um, I think it was a decent performance. Was, there was positive things in there. But I think the thing with John is at the minute, every time he's fighting, he's just, uh, he's just giving you more opportunities to work on something else and I, I, I think that's what it is I think, I think John's a work in progress as a pro he had a bit of time out of the amateurs at the end because he was getting frustrated with it and you know no one's in a rush with John, with, with John Telford's career his management team his coach Gary Booth and, and John himself and like I say I, 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 I don't think he particularly looked like he enjoyed it in there tonight he looked a little bit frustrated and a bit fed up but he's, he's got the win I thought the second round was close potentially shared but I thought he clearly won the first third and fourth and uh, like I say, he's, he's off to Australia next Tuesday for three weeks, so, you know, he only turned pro in July, he's finishing the year at 3-0, he's, he's got 12 good rounds under his belt, so go away, enjoy Australia, and then come back next year and work on the things that, that he's got, you know, the opportunities to improve. It couldn't have been a worse opponent to come in on the day's notice after all that messing around, could it? An awkward, negative, lanky, unorthodox southpaw. Yeah, he, 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 he did... I thought he gave him an opportunity to wear the body. That was about it. And he was a he was a long, gangly southpaw. He just left his right hand sticking out there. And you know, John's not had any favours with the opponents he's been getting. Dean Gillen, yeah, potentially. You know, but you know, his first fight he got Van Pooch, and Van Pooch just you know, it, 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 it went in. He went in. You know, what's the word? Hedgehog mode. You know, the first time he took a right hand, and he didn't really give a lot away. And second fight we had Dean Gillen, and you know, D Dean did give him an opportunity, and I think John just played up to the crowd a little bit. It was a bit of an amateurish performance. And then tonight, I say he's, he's, he's won all four rounds on the referee scorecard. So I say I think we can all be too critical, can't we? We, we? we look at every fight and we, we expect everybody to be a world champion. Potentially, John Telford might be a, a European champion, a British champion, an English champion. But you know, let's just keep improving on the things that, that he's got to improve on. Let's you know opportunities rather than weaknesses. I'm seeing him as we John at the minute. As we were talking about John Telford, there, the doctor got the first round in the books. I wonder if he's worked out a diagnosis for Liam Griffiths. Pretty. I think he's showing the benefits, RT, for working with Lee Beard. You know, he's definite step up. He's spending a lot more time with Lee over at the old Better Bodies gym. I think Lee seems to be spending a bit more time with him as well now. Yeah, it's, it's not. Seconds. Lee Beard's a respected coach, isn't he? There's been a few changes in his gym and what have you. And I say Dr. Artie Daniels turned up at the gym and uh, second out. I say well, you know two. another one who's a work in progress, but you know every every time you see Artie, he's improving. Um, massive fan base, you know every, every time Artie's in the ring, you know the viewing figures. Uh, I think it's one of the reasons why the stream's playing up. There's a couple of extra thousand people tried logging on, you know, in the last probably in the last 15 minutes, knowing that the doctor's about to be on the on the screen. So. I oh, just wonder if our teeth, you know, he's full of confidence at the moment. He's, he's three and two now. He had a couple of setbacks. One of them was ridiculous. One of the, the loss to Matthew Ashmole was uh, he didn't lose to Matthew Ashmole and he righted that wrong very next outing. I wonder if he's full of confidence and he's been pretty aggressive today. You know, last time out he concentrated on his boxing against Paul O'Brien. I just wonder if he's been a little more aggressive and thinking about hurting someone, getting a stoppage on his record now. very similar situation to what Ryan Doyle was in wasn't he he's righted that wrong now and mentally you know what I mean Uh, we're pleased to tell you that the stream's back up and running. Apparently, it just went down for a minute or so, froze. But you're back with us now, just in time CRT for Dr. Daniel. Neglecting his jab a bit for me, RT. I know he, I know he watches the fights back. He likes the commentary. I do feel uh, just neglecting your jab a little bit tonight, RT. Got a good, showed a good jab last time out. How are you seeing this fight, Luke? Well, 
he's looking good in there in patches but like John was saying that he just needs to get back on the jab and show what he's shown in his last few fights and uh, is this I think you've this is the first time is this the first time you've seen the doctor no the second time I've seen him I saw him in his second fight with Matthew Ashmole he looked good in that fight uh, but he just needs to get back on the jab like we were saying before and I think he's still trying to work out this southpaw stance a little bit so he's, I know he's been sparring a uh, Jimmy Kelly and my Jim World Title Challenger may have had a bit of success and just feels that someone like Liam Griffiths, you know, he can, he can do a job on him, but these guys are tough. Artif just needs to get back on the game plan. Show what show the improvements he's making in the gym. Took a took a, a right hand there as well. Just giving him something to think about here, Liam Griffiths. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live, live and exclusive on VIPboxing.tv. Steve Ward for VIP Promotions, for Fight Life TV channel, on Sky and Freeview, in association with Tanko Boxing. So therefore, it's not exclusive, but it is live, and it's exclusive right now. Keep the tweets coming in, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Griffiths looked pretty happy with himself going back to the corner then. Gave a little, gave himself a little pat on the back as he went back to the corner. I think he feels like he won that round. Still to come tonight, Danny Wright, Anthony Kakache, Jake Haig, Luke Evans, Ben Sheedy in the main event. Matty Askin against Tommy McCarthy. Final eliminate for the British title up at Cruiserweight. Ten seconds, corners. Uh, just, uh, if the producer is, if you just have an update on the on the stream, just had a number of text messages. It's going round in a loop Second at the minute round. on the uh, on the round live stream, three. apparently. Here comes round three, Ati, for Dr. Daniel, Liam Griffiths. Liam Griffiths just seems to have gained a little bit of confidence at the end of the second round. Daniel's got to knock it out of him. Give him a dose of some medicine. He wants to come in and put his problems on the doctor, but Artif's got to act like that awkward secretary that's a nightmare to deal with who wants to know every bit of problems before, he, before she lets you go and see the doctor. He's got to put that barrier up. That's nice better. Uh, Lovely right hand. Put the jab, jabbing Griffiths' face and put the right hand behind it. It's exactly what we've been crying out for and it, it worked a treat there for Artif. Nice right hand over the top there. And again there, he's working the right hand well now, Daniel. I think he's got his range. Oh, there's no knockdown wave there. Griffiths did come in. There was a left hand there, but I think it's quite rightly no knockdown. I'm just going to go break off, guys. I'll be back with you shortly. It's a nice little jab. Started to work the jab a little bit more in this round. Yeah, Daniel's got the uh, got the tactics sorted now, hasn't he? Yeah, just needs that, so. He's just given himself an extra couple of inches space to get his shots off. Griffiths isn't as keen to come in, is he? Because he knows there's a jab waiting for him now. Yeah, and that's what was lacking in the first opening two rounds. And I think you could see that when Griffiths went back to the corner. He, so he's having a little bit of an easy night in there. There has been some... Uh, Daniel has been moving off to the side quite nicely, though. What he's managing to do now is combine that with a jab. You know, So he's jabbing and stepping off to the side. First couple of rounds, he, he, was, he had the footwork there. Wasn't, wasn't making Griffiths pay. Now he's managing to use the jab and step off to left and right. Absolutely. It seems to be working a lot better this round anyway. Let us know what you think of a doctor. Are you enjoying your appointment? Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Artif, well connected to the Mayweather Boxing Gym. I know he's calls Floyd Mayweather his brother. Floyd watches his fights. So a very good chance Floyd will be watching this, Luke. 
takes a good interest in Artif's career. Gives him little tips and hints before every fight. Popular guy, I know Liam Smith also watches Artif's fights. Boxing looters just tweeting in. All joking aside, really enjoying the hashtag VIP Boxing Live show. More of this stuff in the future, please. The new TV deal with Fight Live TV and Tanko Boxing, you'll be seeing a lot more of Steve Wood's shows on your TV. I tell you what, it's warm in here tonight, isn't it, Luke? Yeah, very warm. To, just to paint a picture of where we are, we sat right underneath the air conditioning unit. But the, I know it's cold outside, but they've put the heating on. But when you sat underneath the ring lights, it's not what you need. I was cold last night, though, with that aircon. Yeah. I think they had a full blast last night and they've turned it off tonight. You know, they say the fighters have it hard. What about us? I know. Sat, yeah, sat down here for hours. <laughs> Seconds out for the fourth and final round. You know, what looked like it could have been a close fight after a couple of rounds, I think Daniel just punctuated it there in that third round, then he, uh, yeah. he's the better man here. He's just got to box his way to the final bell. Nice, nice attack. Size just sent a tweet out saying that the problem is now resolved with the stream, so just refresh the page. I know you're not going to get that message, but still. He's working well on the counter as well now, Daniel. Webb Griffiths lunges in, he's landing a couple of hooks. He's trying, to walk, he's trying to walk him down, isn't he? He's got his hands up, walking Griffiths down, just looking to counter off a little shots at Griffiths, trying to keep him away. Much more, looks, a, looks a pretty confident fighter in there, actually, Artif, tonight, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, it's been a fight of two halves, really, because he started quite slowly, I think, trying to work out his opponent, and he's really started to dominate the fight in the third and fourth rounds. You can see that now. Following this fight, I think we've got a... Uh, could well could well be a fight of a night, I think. Danny, well, be, apart from the main event on the undercard, I think we could see a, a, a bit of a barnstorm between Danny Wright and Ross Jameson. Jameson does come to fight. He was a, a home fighter up until two ago. He's decided to take his show on the road, but he does throw shots. Went the distance with Conor Ben. Not too long ago, he'll he'll be thinking he can put one over on Danny Wright. Danny was explosive last time out. Well worth watching. After that, another explosive fighter, the Apache Anthony Kakacha. I know a lot of you are tuned in to watch that. We're expecting him in around 30, 35 minutes. I would have expected. Probably about 90 minutes away from Matty asking Tommy McCarthy topping the bill here on this VIP show at Victoria Warehouse. That's got Ryan's a fight of the year all over it. It should be a cracker. And credit's nice little right hand there from Griffiths, just got caught our teeth. Yeah, just going back to the main event, credit for McCarthy for taking this fight, because it's a tough fight for your 10th professional fight, isn't it? Yeah, he must be confident. So far, he's looked, he's looked good, hasn't he? He's got no reason yeah. to doubt himself. Absolutely. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live on Twitter. Let us know what you think of the night so far. Who have you got for the main event? Who do you think is going to win that one? Let us know. Lovely work again from Daniel. He's really starting to control the fight now. Takes a right hand there though, Griffiths. Griffiths been taunting our teeth a little bit there. He's not doing enough to win the fight, but it certainly gave our team something to think about throughout. The scorecards will be interesting now. See how the referee scored the first two rounds, because they were quite close. <laughs> Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Just get the official announcement from Paul Booth. Then we'll try and grab the doctor. Let us know what you thought about proceedings. Just 
as both boxers are brought to the centre of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, a show of appreciation for the efforts of both the red and blue, blue corner. Okay then, so the super middleweight contest does go the distance after four three minute rounds of boxing. We ask our scoring referee for his decision. Phil Edwards sees the contest at 39 points to 37 points in favour of our winner. From Manchester, our truth, Daniel! Good performance from Daniel after a shaky opening round. Well, gallant, runner up there, please put your hands together from the blue corner for Liam Griffiths. We'll try and grab him now for a little bit of a chat once he's had his pictures. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live on Twitter. Let us know what you thought of his performance. Our team looked absolutely disgusted that Phil Edwards had given a round there to Liam Griffiths. Absolutely disgusted. We'll ask him about that.